Today, from Seattle, Washington, it's week 14 of the...
from the shotgun. He'll look to throw. And he fires one, but incomplete. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he slings one that's incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Again, he'll drop to throw. That's caught by Penny. Five yards, now it's third and five. Back to throw again. Got his man, that's Harry. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Metcalf. Touchdown! DK Metcalf, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Seahawks have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Footing always a concern, but the extra point's up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken at about the one. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Mahomes' throw caught by his receiver, Hill. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Here's Edwards Alaire. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. First and 10, it's Edwards Alaire with it. Oh, the ball is out. Edwards Alaire lost it. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46 yard line. I know you're looking at the scoreboard clock. We're getting near the end of this game. But they were in what was really called four minute offense. And that's practice being taking care of the football, taking time off the clock, not giving them a chance to come back. But well, bottom line is, what did I say in the beginning? Taking care of the football. That didn't happen. Didn't do it. A costly turnover. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Back to throw now on first down. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Working with a second and four. A shotgun handoff to Patterson. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. He'll look to throw. This is the tight end fan. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Now a first and 10 at the 11. We'll check on his status when we get back. Penny, a first down carry. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. He 
He'll look to throw. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. They'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. They'll run for it with Penny. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. They're going to look to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Penny will take this into the end zone for a Seahawk touchdown. We are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And this will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he finds Penny. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. On second down, here's Penny. Good footwork at the 30. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 28. From here, it would be a 45-yard field goal attempt, certainly in range, but they'll look for more yardage on third down. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. So on now comes the kicker. It's Jason Myers. This to break our fourth quarter tie. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And that will break our tie and give him a three-point lead. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead. Now a hit and a loose football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Open man. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. On first down, Mahomes. And he will find his man, Ruggs. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Here's Mahomes. His throw incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Mahomes being chased out left. 
but he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. First down now, but that clock rolling. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. But Butker is on target, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on the kick it away. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. So all eyes on this Seahawks offense. Down on the scoreboard. And time, a huge factor. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. They'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. Now oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Back to throw. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. The improv act there, good for nine. And now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. He's back to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. They've got to burn the timeout, and they do, but a costly, costly sack. And now maybe just time for one final play. He's got his big tight end fan. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. One final shot. They'll look to throw. This for all the marbles. And this is going to be caught. It's caught. And they've won the football game. A great come from behind victory in this one, Charles. And really the difference, obviously, was that fourth quarter. They dominated. And it has to start with believing that you can make that comeback. Because we've been in games before. We've done games where you can just look at one team and realize they have no chance of making it back. Not in the one we just saw here. They did it, and they did it well. So for the Seahawks, the win is their fifth of the year as they move to 5-8. and eight. And they'll have another home date next week as the L.A. Rams come to town. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, they can ill afford to drop too many more as they fall to 7-6 and six on the year. And they will get a home date next week against the Los Angeles Chargers. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL Sports. Why be in one of the day though?